Welcome back. It's been a little bit since I picked up my van from it sitting for a couple weeks full of stuff. It was so gross, so dirty. It literally smelled like a shop. And so, um, first of all, I had to clear the whole van out of all that stuff and clean it up. So we're gonna go on a little adventure, but before we do that, I have to finish setting up the van. So this is where we're at right now. I think it looks so cute. Um, I went to Walmart and I got a carpet. This one looks really pretty. And then I got some fabric, some string and some Velcro and I made up these curtains. So my original plan was to, with fabric glue, fold over the edges and fish the string through, but that's just so much work and it takes four to six hours to dry and so I decided I would just cut a bunch of holes and then fish the string through the holes and I think it would look adorable like that anyways. And then go from there. Now we're just going to cut holes. This might not withstand the test of time, but it's fine. There we go. I think this is going to be so adorable. I think it's very cute. Now I just have to do all the bottoms the exact same way. Or not. So all I need to do now is put my bed in, put my stuff in, and then we can hit the road. Oh goodness, what a treat. Oh my gosh. In the YouTube video I posted of me making this bed, I measured how high to make it based off of me sitting on the frame. See, that's much better. And I didn't take into account the slats and the foam and like so many of you commented that. And yeah, you're right, I, I didn't. I just didn't want to go any lower than that measurement because I wanted to be able to fit a bunch of things if I wanted to underneath the bed. And so yeah, I do, I have to slouch slightly. I can't sit up straight, but honestly, <laughs> I'm not mad about it. I can kneel next to the bed or I can just have poor posture or I can just lay down. There's many options. So yeah, I saw your comments and Sometimes it just be like that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> First stop, side of the road so I can fill my power steering because I forgot. Nice. 
in this general location that I feel like would be good but I don't actually know so I, I'm gonna have to check out some places and see how I feel I have Layla and I have my period so I'd like to be somewhere where there's uh, dogs are okay and maybe there's bathroom that would be lovely if not I could just pee in a cup and hope for the best but um, so we'll see what happens I need to stop for some food to make for dinner and then I'm gonna recheck my options and then see what happens you don't need to discuss much just drop off the key and get yourself Okay, so it's three o'clock. I was scheduled to arrive at two, but I didn't get anything to eat for dinner, so I had to make a couple stops. And then I, I'm craving um, liver and onions, and somehow to buy liver is really hard here. In Canada, I feel like every single grocery store has liver, and it's like $3 for a whole whack of it, and I'm just not able to find that. So I've been to three, one, two, three. This is my fourth grocery store to find liver. And um, then once this is done, I can finally try to find a spot to park for a bit. But even that, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm at a rest area. You're not allowed to be here longer than three hours. So I guess that's considered a rest. Um, which is a shame. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere else along this path, I guess. Wow, look at this tree. <laughs> Wow, this is such a nice spot. There's nobody on this little beach. It's just me. If it wasn't for all the road 
noise, I would feel like I'm in my own little paradise. It's too bad I can't park here overnight. It's, oof. Van lifing must be difficult. It's something you gotta, I don't know, finding parking seems like it's hard. <laughs> I don't know that it's legal that I park like this, but honestly, there is no one else around. Not bad. The road is so loud though, <laughs> but I don't know, it looks nice. fridge and I have liver and bacon. I should probably cook it. I think I'll wait till I think I'll wait till nighttime or I'm not hungry. I just want to chill. So I'm gonna, I saw earlier when I was driving that there are some porta potties on the pier. So I'm gonna drive over there to see if I can find a porta potty. If not, I'm gonna go somewhere to find a bathroom because I can't live like this. <laughs> so yeah, let's go find a porta potty, huh? Hi, how are you? Fine. Good. How does this work? On our, you don't look like you're going fishing. No, I was honestly looking for a porta potty. I was just parked over there. Right, honey, go not the first building, the second one. We have really nice restrooms. There's four restrooms on the pier. There's a bait shop down there. I'm not going to charge it. <laughs> Thank but, you. Uh, it's perfectly safe. Okay. And yeah. There's people here 24 hours a day. There's people in the bait shop 24 hours. I'm here 24. Well, I'm here. There's somebody here 24. Okay. Thank you so Thanks. much. <laughs> she was nice. It's $8 to come onto this pier, but that was free. So I could go to, to the bathroom. <laughs> Success. So I guess I'm gonna go back to that spot. Um, I 
Okay, <laughs> so I've just been sitting on this pier for like an hour and um, I don't want this food to go to waste. So I really think that I should cook it here because the bathroom's here and I can wash my hands after dealing with raw meat. And I just think it's, it will be better in the long runs, even though I really don't want to do it. I just kind of want to go to bed. We're, we're gonna go ahead and cook. Basically, this is the meal. Liver, <laughs> onion, and some bacon. That's probably good. Come on, buddy. I destroyed this in the worst way. Best sleep ever, honestly. Good morning. I like silence and darkness when I sleep. So the vehicles um, driving by, and then someone came and parked like right next to me. It was so loud last night, and um, so yeah, not the best sleep but only because of the external things. My bed feels comfortable. I felt comfortable in here. I wasn't nervous or anything.